But let's first talk about how we can use AI for keyword research, right? Because you always want to get some basic idea about what words and phrases would be valuable to uh, get found for. And there's lots of tools out there. And I'm not saying don't use these tools like SEMrush as a keyword tool, and even Google has a keyword planner with tools, Ahrefs. There's all these tools that are out there where you can do research on keywords that have value and transactional nature and you know what the volume is a month as well. But you can use AI to help you create a list of keywords that you might like to target. So here's a prompt that I kind of played with for an AC client. Uh, generate a list of transactional keywords and phrases. Notice I use the word transactional. This is where I'm talking about getting more detailed, right? Because I could just say, give me a list. But by saying transactional keywords, I'm looking for words where people have kind of I have a more, uh, they want to do something, right? They're not looking for info. They're looking to you know, take some action, right? Have a transaction, buy something. Um, and they'll help an HVAC company, gave it the name of the HVAC company, and I want to help them sell AC repair services in Tampa Bay. Now, if, you know, I don't want to, uh, for this particular situation, I could have put in sell AC repair, AC installation, AC maintenance as well. But I wanted to kind of limit it specifically just to AC repair. Then I could always write another prompt that just swaps out AC repair with AC maintenance or AC maintenance with you know AC installation or HVAC or heating and air conditioning or whatever it may be. I also included the, specific, the, the, loca the locale, Tampa Bay area. And I asked it to include the monthly search volume next to each phrase. When I did that, this is what first chat GPT replied with. First it said, I love this. It came back and said, look, I can't access search volumes or generate live data since their current environment doesn't support real-time internet searches or access to specific SEO tools. However, I can suggest a list of transactional keywords and phrases that would typically be beneficial for an HVAC company like Actionaire looking to sell AC repair in Tampa to find the monthly volume. You're going to have to go use a tool, right? And they give you some tools. Well, great. Okay, so it's giving you some of its limits. Uh, and then going out and showing it. Here's the 10 uh, prompts, uh, I mean, sorry, 10 results that it came back with. AC repair, Tampa Bay, Tampa AC service, emergency AC repair, Tampa, best AC repair in Tampa, HVAC services, Tampa. And you can look at the other ones on your own, 24 AC repair, Tampa. Remember, um, these should be you know within the right uh, character lengths as well, but these are keyword phrases that we can potentially use. And you can see most of these would be somebody looking for help, right? Probably wanting to get some uh, transaction taken care of, right? 24 seven AC repair Tampa. Someone's probably, it's like two in the morning and their AC is on the fritz, right? Uh, AC maintenance Tampa. Someone's looking to have their AC maintained. So these are good keywords, but ChatGPT kind of, you know, not as valuable here, I think. But when I went to Gemini and used that, wow, this was much, much better, right? Not only did it give me general transactional words with high volume, like AC repair Tampa Bay and AC repair near me, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay emergency AC repair. It even gave me some search volume. Now, since it doesn't have full access to Google's ad search volume, they're giving me these um, uh, ranges from 1,000 to 10,000, 1,000 to 500 to 1,000. So I can at least get some idea of these high volume words, but you also see some brand specific words like action air conditioning repair Tampa, schedule AC repair with action air conditioning, problem specific as well, AC making noise, AC leaking water, AC blowing warm air and so on. You have location specific, AC repair South Tampa, AC repair West Tampa, AC repair Brandon, Florida and so on. You have urgency specific, I love this AC repair Tampa Bay ASAP, need AC repair Tampa Bay now, uh, emergency AC repair Tampa Bay tonight, and they give you some additional tips. This all came from Gemini, all from that one prompt, same one as I gave the chat GPT. This one gave me the, a whole lot more value here. And it gives you some other ideas like utilizing long tail keywords, include negative keywords to where the relevant search is, like parts and so on, leverage location extensions to target specific zip codes and other things. Uh, and then also consider tools like Google Keyword Planner, SEMrush.